how to add multiple strokes to a path in Affinity Designer. Something like this. Very quick and easy. We can do just remove that. And I'm just going to go for maybe a circle. Let's go for a circle this time. I should have actually saved that to the Styles panel. Well, however, the key thing, appearance here. You can find it in View and Studio. And you've got Appearance. Now also, I've got Styles. You can see Styles there. And you can save this design to the Styles. So when you see with this appearance, you've got one stroke. That's it. And I'm just going to, obviously, that's quite a crazy size. So 65, so I'm just going to reduce that down. So let's just go for there. And I'm going to change the colour. So I'm just going to click there. And it's black. It's a single click. Sometimes it doesn't seem to work, I must admit. And I end up double clicking it. But sometimes single click should work. So again, single click there. And it brings that up. And you can just vary that. And of course, there's other sessions as well. If you want dashes as well, you could use that. However, you've got that. 5.5. Now what I can do, I can go down the bottom and there's an add stroke. Click there. And now we've got, I've got two strokes. Now obviously the first, this one, the new one, has got no stroke at all. And also it's set to zero. Well, I don't want that. Obviously I want it to be a bit bigger than that. So I'm going to go for about six or seven. And I can change the colour. I'm going to put it to red. Now at the moment, it's in on top of the existing stroke. But I don't want that. I want it be below so I'm just gonna just drag that red one below and see now I've got the black one on top which is only 5.5 the stroke below is 9.5 so it's a bit bigger so you can see it and what you can do you can of course then you can go to add stroke again but you can even quicker is right click and you can just duplicate it and you can go down to that one again click there and change the color again and of course at the moment it's exactly the same and you can change that, and I'm just going to go for maybe something a bit bigger. Just make it a bit bigger. And again, right click again, duplicate, change the color again. Whoops. Not double click, just a single click. And again, just change the color there, and then just change that. So let's just make it a bit bigger. And you can see the design there. And of course, you can also add additional fills if you want. And I'm going to do another video on that. So you've got all those. What you can then do. Once you're happy with that design, you can go over here and you can just go right click there, add style from selection. So it just quickly adds it over here. So you can use it on another path. So if I just move this out of the way, what I can do, I can just go and select another path. Let's go for triangle. So triangle there, and I just click on there. And you can see I've got other ones as well. So you can just quickly add these designs. And you can also use it for, if you just go over here and just create the pen tool, Select the pen tool there, just like that, and you can simply quickly add that as well. And if you want to remove it any time the fill, so you decide you don't want that, you can just go there and you end up with this design like that. So that's running through the appearance panel and adding strokes and also duplicating strokes as well. You can also remove them as well. So if you don't want them, you can always deselect it. It doesn't have to be selected, so you can just click there and you see it's removed. But also what you can do, you can right click and you've got the option for deleting that stroke. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.